All right, if you decided to skip the gym and sleep in this morning, you might have joined many others in falling off the fitness cliff. I'm a little happy to hear this isn't falling off the treadmill. <laughs> yes. Experts say today is the exact day many of those New Year's resolutions, oh, they kind of drop off. The big drop in gym visits is so predictable that Gold's Gym calls it the fitness cliff. For the past few years, the gym has been announcing uh, different deals to keep people coming, so certainly something to watch for when you kind of have that, you know, that time when it's going to happen every single year. Anytime fitness say they also see that mm. big drop off. This is funny that they can they have it down to a science. They can see almost the sure. day. Well, that didn't take happening. long. It's only been what like five weeks since New Year's. I'm I fell off the cliff way before that. <laughs> Five I weeks. Even, I don't even remember the cliff. Sometimes <laughs> that's a distant <laughs> memory. I think if you are just starting a routine, which mm -hmm. is most people who are making these resolutions and flooding into gyms, five weeks to a certain degree is is good work. Like you, sure. you did you it tried. for five weeks, but you need to. You know, you need encouragement in your life. Other people to say, like, hey, you can get out there and do it, get back That's at it. That's why a lot of people don't like to make resolutions because they know that they're just temporary for so many people. Yeah. Well, I thought it fail. takes three weeks to weeks to form a habit. Yeah. Yes, oh. not. Well, Didn't work out I so say well. this is a great time to get started because the crowd is there. Yeah, that's when you, you do have it. all the treadmills to yourself. <laughs> We're looking for your feedback. Are you surprised gyms can pinpoint the exact day people stop exercising? How are you keeping up with your New Year's exercise resolutions? Send your thoughts by going to wcco.com/facebook or hit us up on Twitter.